Well, it's late in the day and the sun's getting low. Caught me a biggin', but I let him go. So had fun just watching him stretch my line. Got me a box. <laughs> I got me a box from my buddies at Spike It, Spike It Outdoors. They make dip and die. Ooh, this box is sealed up big time. I mean, sealed up big time. Good things. Gotta be kind of careful using this knife. It will cut things inside the box that it's not supposed to cut. This is an incredibly great knife. I don't know what all's in the box. Looks like I got a lot of... Careful, Jimmy. You know you're dangerous. I think it's going to be worm paint. That's what I believe it is. I got me some worm paint coming. Hi, Benelli. Ooh, I got a lot of... I got a lot of... I got a lot of little popcorn deals in there. Little white styrofoam. Let's look and see what all we got. This is great. Okay. Oh, I don't want those blowing around. I don't want those blowing around. It's been dead calm all day long. Dead calm all day long. And now... <laughs> oh, Mr. Don Rollins. Mr. Don Rollins. How great is this? Look here. <laughs> Tried to keep all of those on... Pick those up because I don't want them running around everywhere. Looky there. <laughs> a bag of peanuts. A bag of Florida peanuts. Oh, <laughs> how wonderful is that? How wonderful is that? And I got probably some instructions here telling me what to do. Might not be. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> I've got some worms. That wind's blowing like crazy. Okay. Oh, I've got worm paint. <clears throat> now I've got worm paint. That's exactly what I was hoping this was. That's what I thought was coming in with some worm paint. All right. The worm paint is not a dye. It's literally a soft, soft plastic paint. This is made to paint plastic worms or any kind of soft plastic. It doesn't bleed, so baits can be bagged together even if they are different colors. So you can, if you make your own baits and, you know, Spike It Outdoors makes some dye, some uh, some uh, uh, molds where you could actually build your own plastic worms, which a lot of guys do. It dries relatively quickly. Uh, it's got a greater effect on your darker base compared to traditional soft plastic dye. And uh, it's not a dye, it's actually a paint. That's the main thing. Especially if you prime it with white first. It can be brushed on or used as a dip. It's available in garlic, which you know that I love garlic in my plastic worms, or in scented, the following colors. Black, blue, chartreuse, hot pink, lime, orange, a blood red, silver, watermelon color, natural glow, and white. Here's suggestions. A wounded bait fish using red in a Q-tip. You can take a Q-tip and add some red to any of your soft plastics. Add orange claws to a creature bait. You know, I'm big on an orange and blue. I love to add blue also. We have blue in this also, or Spike It has blue in it. A chartreuse tail with white prime coat. Put a white prime coat on, add a chartreuse tail. Watermelon, <coughs> a little, little white deals are trying to get away. Watermelon and black spots on the back of a frog. Put watermelon and black on, on of a plastic of a soft plastic frog. Black spots added to an orange worm. Black spots added to an orange worm. Red and blue swim bait. Red and blue swim bait. Ch change your swim bait around. White primed, a chartreuse tail with a kill dot on your swim bait. Put a kill dot on your swim bait like a shad has. You can dip. You can stripe, you can dot. You can do anything you want to them. Let's take a look at a couple of them right here. I, I'm so tickled. He, he sent me these peanuts. Oh, that is so great. I love peanuts. I love peanuts. I love peanuts. All right, we kind of got the instructions there. Now, he also set down he set down uh, some uh, some worms here for me to just take a look at. Green chartreuse, uh, trick worm dipped in black. And this is just to kind of show you all. These, these comes in, in a little bottles. And... Uh, Oh, I put my knife up. Oh, the easiest way to get into things is with a knife. Oh, I laid it right there, didn't I? That's a knife. Oh, that's a knife. That's a knife. I love this knife. The blade gets dull. You just throw it away and put a new blade in there. Incredibly great knife. Incredibly great knife. Okay, this is black. And this one I think is purple. This is blue. Blue is pretty close to purple. Black and blue. And this is this is unscented. This is unscented. And uh, and you can do do a lot of things with them. I'm gonna kind of just shove this out of the way here a little bit. 
I brought down a, a couple, well, I got this right here I can use. I brought down a couple pieces of paper that I could use here. Some kind of sales pitch that I got in the mail from an insurance company or something. I don't really know. But lay those down there, or I can put them on, put them on them there. But uh, we got some samples in here that we can take a look at. I'm probably going to get out in the building where I'm out of the wind and do a little painting. But I'm just going to show you some of the things they've done here. <coughs> this is some of the things they've done, and you can see how how this is. This is a this is a green chartreuse trickworm dipped in black. This is a green chartreuse tripworm dipped in black. And you can just see how that looks there. That's just absolutely amazing. Here's, here's a tail, a tail of this, a tail of this swim bait. It's a bright, bright colors. You know, that's the one main thing about it is, is, is the, the, the worm. Can't get into it. Ziploc. That's good Ziploc. Take, take a look at this right here. This is a, this is a white base coat, and here's what he's done to this. You see this shad, little uh, little lucky shad looks like, and you see what they've done, they, they dipped that tail, in a, just dipped it in, white base coat, let that dry, and then dipped it in chartreuse. Also, take a little Q-tip and, and put some white kill dots, uh, kill spots up there on, on the front of it. That's exactly what we were talking about there in the suggestions a minute ago, and you can see how that came out. You can actually customize, customize your lure any way you want, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to kind of look through here. I might pull one of them out and, and dip something in it real quick here just to show y'all. But I just wanted to show you that they've, they've gone in and done, done all of this. and It's just amazing what they've come out with. And look right here. This is a uh, creature's claws that's dipped in orange. See the creature? And then you dip the claw in orange. Now, that's probably a little bit too much orange, to be honest with you. Uh, I probably would have just dipped the, the very end of it personally. But uh, they're just showing me here exactly what they've got in here. I'm going to use all these baits. I'm, I'm going to use them all. They're just kind of giving me some suggestions on the way to do things. And <clears throat> the easiest way to share it with you is just to show you. It's a lizard tail with a white base coat. And it's important to put that white base coat on. And then put a hot pink finish in it. It's a lizard tail right there. You can see what they've done on that. And it's just absolutely, it's, it's, it's paint. It's, it's not a dye. It's a paint. Here we've got... Uh, dipped in red and blue this is a black kill spot on it it's added with a q-tip and again you know you see this right here we've got blue on the front red red white and blue this is one we're going to fish with on the fourth of july <laughs> it's got a black kill spot uh, you can see the kill spot right there you can see it just put a black kill spot on it up there just about everything he suggested there they've gone ahead and done for me just to show you what this is a watermelon base coat black spots added for a second coat and they applied both with a Q-tip. This was both done with a Q-tip, was not dipped. And I'm gonna take this out and just show you what this does to this frog right here. This is pretty amazing. This is just really amazing. This is a frog. This is the frog, a solid white frog, just like that right there. Look at this right here. This was all done with a Q-tip. Look at that. That's the top of the frog. That's the top. It put, a, put the uh, green pumpkin uh, paint on there with a Q-tip and then added dots to it, black dots to it. Look at that. And that, isn't that something? That's amazing right there, isn't it? That is absolutely gorgeous. You know, probably if you would take these little, these little flippers in the back, blah, 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 come across the top of the water, I'd, I might be dip those in chartreuse or maybe even orange. Maybe even dip them in orange. That's a great, great, great idea there. Uh, That goes in here, doesn't it? Just wanted to show you these here. I got these in, and uh, I wanted to actually play and do some painting, but they've already got these all painted up for me. So really, really be able to just show you. These are some great ideas. You can just use your imagination, do anything you want. Black spots added with a Q-tip, and this is just simply taking a trick worm, an orange trick worm. And we just added some spots. Just come in here and, and added added some black spots to it. See those black spots there? And that's just added with a Q-tip. That's all it is. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to do. And it is a dye. It is not a dye. It's paint. It's actually a paint. I'm gonna I'm gonna use all of these baits right here. I'm gonna put them all in a separate little tackle box and and uh, and play around with them and use them. We got down to the last couple of baits here. That wind's blowing. 
don't want to blow anything in the lake. I'll hang on to that one. I'm down to the last two or three I want to show you here. These are just some ideas. This is a, a wounded bait fish using red with a Q-tip. You can take a Q-tip and just have a lot of fun with this stuff. And what I suggest you do is get you a uh, get you a, just a, a, brand, a, a brand new tackle box, a small one. I'm Benelli. I'm Benelli. <laughs> My buddy Benelli. She's always wanting to get right in the middle and see what I'm doing. I might paint your nose red. You'd be Rudolph. That's right. I might paint your nose red. You'd be Rudolph. You sure are pretty puppy. Yes, you are. Now, I have a hard time getting into those things. About the time I get it about halfway open, the wind catches it and it doesn't separate. Separate them and I can't get a hold of it. There we go. Oh, boy, those are some good Ziplocs. This must be commercial grade Ziplocs. But this is kind of <coughs> the cute little bait right here. It's a crappie bait. And all he's done is come in here and put some red spots on it. I tell you, an old man named Nut Carter, that uh, when I was a kid, when I was 16, 17, 18 years old, he was an older guy, probably 30, 40 years older than me, maybe 50 years older than me. And uh, he was a guide on Lake, Lake Ten Killer there, and, and he carried me fishing a lot, and he taught me a lot about fishing. He taught me how to, how to work a, 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 a head and chugger and make it walk like a Zara Spook. He, he used a head and chugger and make I, he taught me how to make it walk when I was just a teenager. And, but you open his tackle box, you open his tackle box, and he had red on every single, get down, Benelli. He had red on every single bait. I mean, he had spots on it. He had death dots on it. He had lines on them. He had the underbellies, uh, the throats painted. He had just about everything in the world. And I asked him about that. I, I said, why did you put all that? And he did it with fingernail polish, so it was kind of a bad odor. And uh, the good thing about using spike it, spike it worm paint is that you, you got you can get unscented or i'd recommend getting garlic so so you've added something positive in a way of scent in addition to changing your color around quite a bit but he and his, his idea was and he was wrong in his idea he was right in his idea it really wasn't the reason why it's a good deal but but i asked him i said i said no i said why do you have he's a sensational fisherman and I said, why do you have red on every single bait in your tackle box? He had one of those big Umco tackle boxes like my dad. Had about seven trays on each side, held about a million lures. And, uh, and I asked him, I said, Nuck, I said, how come, how come you got red on all those baits? And he said, it, it's a wounded bait. It makes the bait wounded. The fish think it's wounded. They think it's bleeding. And, and in nature, nature will attack whatever's wounded and hurts. And that's what gets eaten by something else in nature made sense to a 16 year old kid I said that's a pretty good idea well I learned later on working with Dr. Lauren Hill who was just about the most brilliant man I know ever in the fishing industry Dr. Lauren Hill who ran the uh, the, uh, the zoology department at the University of Oklahoma and we came out with all of the, the color selector and I helped him through all that testing and everything for several years and and I learned the colors but the colors that bass can see fish can see best in most shallow water applications are red and blue so my theory and my thought was that I thought back to Nut Carter, red, red, red. They can see it good. It's not really they think it's wounded or injured. It's the fact they can see it good. This has got a white base coat, a white base coat, a chartreuse finish coat on a tail dip. Just taking a regular root beer colored worm with black flake and uh, dipped it in the white and then dipped it in chartreuse. And you can see how distinct and solid these colors are. It works better on solid colors, but you can see that it's just absolutely perfect. Every bait that I've got here, I'm going to catch fish on. Now here's one that they've done, they've done the same thing, but they've done it with red. You dip that in a red tail. I don't think they use the base coat. I think it's just dipped in red. So you can see all of these various ideas. <coughs> and, uh, and, and you want it, you can just dip baits, or you can use, you can dip baits, or you can use a, uh, you can use a, uh, uh, a Q-tip. Uh, a Q-tip's a pretty good idea. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a lucky beaver here out of the package. Open this up if I can. Open that up and pull pull that out. And this is a uh, this is a, a blue flake. And I'm gonna pull one of these out of here. And I've got blue here, so that's not really the greatest color in the world. I'll find me another color. There's a there's a chartreuse. Let's just kind of open this real quick. <coughs> shake it up real good. You shake everything before using, don't you? <laughs> you shake everything before you're using. 
It's got the instructions right now. Worm paint is designed to make permanent, wide, permanent vivid color changes to customize your soft plastic lures. It's great for coloring tails and claws, as well as adding stripes, dots, eyes, and much, much more. Uh, when you blend, the, when you, when you uh, need brighter, more opaque coverage than a dip provides, directions remove uh, any excess oil from the lure, dip or brush the desired part, and let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes. For best results on dark colored baits, use a white worm paint as a, uh, as a base coat, then apply your color to it. I'm gonna believe that you still shake it up all the time. And that's what, that's what they come. They come in a little deal just like that right there. And uh, I am going to, I'm just gonna dip this right here. See, see, what, see what happens. I'm gonna take it. Now, I would just dip, I would just dip the end of that lucky beaver. Just gonna dip that in. I'm going to dip both of them at the same time. And there you have it. Now, probably would be better off putting, probably be better off putting a white base coat on that. But you can see what we've done there. Now, that's going to be extremely bright in the water. Extremely bright in the water. Now, here's what I recommend. And also even using dip and dye, uh, which I use a lot of. I use a lot of. Uh, dip and dye. I recommend that you do this stuff not on the lake while you're fishing. I carry it in the boat with me all the time because I do it out there fishing. You find out by adding a little bit of chartreuse tail lab, you're getting more bites when you're going to do it out there fishing. The paint, it, you're going to need 10 or 15 minutes to dry. Dip Regular dip and dye, you can dip it in a chartreuse dip and dye and it's ready to go just really quickly. But you don't want to get this stuff on your boat. You don't want to get it on your hands. You don't want to get it on your rods and reels, all your tackle. What I recommend is get you some little small tackle boxes and, and rig you up several of these. And you can, you can put them together because they're a paint. You can put blue and chartreuse and red and orange all together in the same box. Take you a package of these and dip them in different ways. Dip your little tails in different ways. You may want to dip the whole tail on one of them. Just do the tips like I've done right here. If you're doing crawfish, do the claws. Curly tails, doing a little curly tail. Put dots on it. Fix those up ahead of time. Fix you several combinations. <clears throat> and one of the things you might be able to do is fix, find a combination that really nobody else has, that the fish has not seen. And uh, put those kill dots on there with, the, with a Q-tip. And make you take some of your worms, get you a package of worms, and make them up in various different ways. Put them in little tackle boxes and get you four or five of these little small tackle boxes that will hold. If you're using a small base like this, they can be just a little tiny boxes. And, and it'll hold, you know, eight or ten in each compartment. Several different ones in there painted up a lot of different ways. And you've got all of a sudden, instead of just having a, 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 a box of, a, of lucky creature baits all in that color, you've got ten of them and maybe you've got five different colors. Maybe you've got two of each or maybe you've got three different colors on those tins. you got four one color and three and three or something like that. So you've got a wide variety of colors in there. So spike it, worm paint. It's absolutely fantastic. It comes in a lot of different colors. We read those colors and you can find it at Bass Pro Shop. All the Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's all around the country. Find them just about anywhere fishing tackle is sold. Spike it, worm paint. Dip and dye, a great product. Spike it, a little bit more vivid color especially if you use that white base coat and then put something like chartreuse or red or orange on it. Ooh, ooh, what you talking about? Make those bass slap their mama away from the dinner table. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.